and pain of twists and turns on the way to the championship but only a brave man would bet against the team in the change strip of all silver here today the champions Liverpool Charlton in the red shirts and the white shorts Reed, Walsh planting it in there towards Lieburn and Barnes there retrieving the situation for Liverpool finding Aldridge no the ball had a bit of breeze there behind Liverpool taking the ball into touch and the referee today Lester Shapter from Devon one of our most experienced ones in fact has got a year's extension they normally have to stop at the age of 47 but he's got an extra year a dispensation from the Football League. Lee showing some dogged work over by the corner flag and producing the first corner of the game. Be taken by Steve McKenzie. Shirt lifts forward. Played short for Walsh to the right foot no problems there for Grovela and a goal kick <laughs> McMahon Benison Walsh let him go Aldridge is waiting Holder was out Aldridge might just feel that his first touch wasn't quite good enough and uh, he might really have made a bit more of that. Away goes Barnes. Britt is after him. Shirt up in the middle, but for Liverpool, Aldridge is there! And Liverpool are off the mark. And the man put under pressure by the return of Rush has done it again. Barnes with the cross. A bounce that eluded the Charlton defence, but not the head of Aldridge, beyond Bob Boulder, and Liverpool are on the march again. Barnes the provider, Aldridge the grateful receiver. Comes for Humphrey. Now Robert Lee. Brick for Charlton. The cross coming in. Lieburn is there, but not a very good header, really. just have slipped for a moment but at any rate Lieburn's header was exposed there as Robert Lee did really well he turned Mulby superbly there there's his little cross Gillespie slipping underneath it and a goal kick Miller gets it back Mackenzie. Miller, the long ball forward. They keep trying to hit the head of Lieber, and this time he chests it down for Peak and has made a run towards the far post. There's his header. He had just 10 league games last season, failed to score, but went with the England under-20 side to Brazil in the summer.
Carl Lieber. With Barnes. Liverpool, who did the double over Charlton last season. Barnes taking that free kick too quickly for the liking of the referee. They won here, and they won at Anfield, but not before Charlton were leading 2-1 with only 20 minutes left. And so Charlton are a side that we know can battle well, and they've got a real battle on their hands now with this goal down. And here's Barnes to Beardsley, stopped by Miller. Gets it back to Wheeler. Finds Barnes as the half-time whistle goes. And for all their battling qualities, it's Liverpool who look the more sure-footed of the two teams, getting back in the groove again. And John Aldridge's goal separates the two sides here at half-time. At Selhurst Park then, on the opening day of the season, it's Charlton Athletic nil, Liverpool one. Uh, I'm sorry about that, as you can see. Yeah, Gates are pretty unimpressive through a season. But here's Lee, and not far away from an equalising goal. Robert Lee, watch him go. The Charlton management have been saying to us all week, and he very nearly found a breakthrough there. Breaking in quickly here, taking it nice on his head, a very sharp angle, but a quick shot at goal, wide of the far post. Robert Lee, the 22-year-old. Barry Venison. Long ball towards Aldridge. He's after it. And some good work by Boulder, but he's there by Aldridge. He took the second chance superbly for his second goal of the game. What a fabulous ball through it was, though. From Venison. And here's Aldridge. Boulder does well there with a good reaction. Sadly for him, though, it falls straight to Aldridge again, who makes no mistake. So John Aldridge, goal number two. Who talks about pressure with the return of Ian Rush? 29 last season, top scorer, and off with a great start on the first game of this season with two. Certainly a, a great sprint by Aldridge. The first four or five yards after that long ball had been played forward, even Ian Rush wouldn't have uh, bettered that. Now how they're really getting into their stride now, Liverpool. There's Aldridge again. That looked like a handball and spotted by the referee. It looked as though it started as an accidental one, but then I think there was perhaps a little bit more to it than that. He burned down to Lee, picking up Walsh. Reed. Cut out by Morby. There's the long ball again, trying to get... Beardsley away, lurking in the middle once more, John Aldridge. Barnes coming up from the back. Aldridge is there for the hat-trick! And makes it! What a reaction! Who's heard about Ian Rush? Bob Boulder beaten three times by the man they said would lose his place when Rush returned, John Aldridge. Great ball played out of the defence again, and in the end, that was the simplest of the three, but they all count. Beardsley's work was excellent. Barnes came in strong as you like. 
And there's Aldridge. What a smile. And why not? It's all up for Charlton. Three down now. Holby. Oh, just wide. The defender showing some of his more natural instincts there as a midfield player. Jan Mulby loves to get into that sort of position. Liverpool at the moment in danger of running riot and when you think they've still got to slot Ian Rush in to say nothing of Alan Hansen into their side. Mulby just wide there. Looks like he may have got a fingertip uh, touch from uh, Boulder. Now Peak. Good striker of a ball. Walsh. Peak again. Ritz. Peak. Lee Byrne. Can Lee get on the far side? Grobola. It hit his chest. He knew very little about it. Very nearly an effective strike there by Robert Lee. In the meantime, Beardsley now taking it up for Liverpool. Looking for goal number four. Stopped that time by Miller. Here's Houghton. about to be made they're taking off Peter Beardsley and Ian Rush 2.8 million pounds from Juventus as Beardsley goes and the love affair that he has with Liverpool and their fans continues as Ian Rush comes back to the English football scene and what a record he had there in his days at Liverpool 139 goals in 224 league games. Fabulous scoring rate. And Ian Rush is back. Colby. Oh, some ball that. Ennison picking it up. Ball slickly played in for Houghton, crossed again, but offside that time against Rush. And referring again to the lookalikes, that is Ian Rush, or is it John Aldridge? And that's John Aldridge, or is it Ian Rush? They are so alike. Lee, Gillespie. stuff here one touch play beautiful stuff as rush releases Houghton rush looks to get back a brilliant save and rush foiled there by the brilliance of Bob Boulder when it looked as though he might get back on the score sheets in his opening game back in England met it perfectly superbly tipped away by the goalkeeper this time and offside free kick to Charlton two minutes left seconds of the game now as the referee looks at the watch it's 
Astrid Houghton. Houghton again for Liverpool. Venison, the final whistle. And a great start for Liverpool. A day of triumph for the man they thought would be under most pressure when Ian Rush returned, John Aldrich, the hat-trick man. And getting the congratulations there from Ian Rush, back in English football again after that £2.8 million pound transfer from Juventus, on as a substitute. And it's true Liverpool will face sterner tests than this, but it's been an impressive performance by them. And we have a new championship off and running again. And the message for everybody else in the First Division and around the world is that that formidable Liverpool machine is still in place.